Hi, Chris Benson's back here now with episode two of Benson. This was recorded at the Fleece in Farsley and uh, is with one of my good friends, Craig Whitfield. If you want to find out more about the Farsley Village Book Club, look out for the link there on the bottom of the screen. And don't forget to visit Craig's website, janeavril.net. <laughs> right, and now, and now here we are on YouTube again, uh, and I'm here with Mr. Craig Whitfield. He's a bit like my bin, Billy Connolly, uh, that he often appears on. Uh, We've done this before, haven't we? Yeah. 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 I do. Me yeah. as well. Me as well. And yeah. with children. Oh yeah. Yeah, let's not forget that. Anyway, well, that's a big YouTube welcome to Mr. Craig Whitfield. Hello. Good to be here again. Well, a couple of things I want to ask you about, but let's talk about as well the sound of this this brilliant evening that you've organised. Uh, how did it come about? Well, it came about uh, really when Simon got in touch with the uh, Marsley Book Club Facebook page. Um, he was very interested in us as a, as a book club and he introduced himself as a local writer. And uh, we agreed to meet, uh, I'm not sure I should say this in the police, but we agreed to meet at the Village Wine Bar. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and, and we did, we had a drink and we, uh, I was really impressed with his. Um, with his work, I was impressed with his uh, stories about his work and felt that the right thing to do would be to put him there to, to promote his work and, and to get the word out there and hopefully you know, culminated some sales as well. So this, the Farsley Village Book Club started yes. last year. It you? started... I'm going to have a bit of my coffee. It actually, not, not beer, it actually started in January 2014, so we've actually, we've actually um, into our second, well into our second year now. Absolutely. Which titles have you read so far? Well, well no, we, 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 give us a taste. We, we kicked off with the uh, the boy uh, in the striped pajamas, but I think by John Boone, which was quite a moving book to start things off with. It was about a, a young boy. Have you seen the film? Have you seen the film yeah, already? Seen the film. Yeah. yeah, well, the book's certainly better. Uh, we've moved on to uh, Stoner. Which was a, a forgotten classic, and we, we realised after reading it why it was a forgotten classic. Um, and then we've read great choices like The uh, Irresistible Inheritance of Wilberforce yes. by the late Paul Torday. Yeah. Absolutely. And, um, and oh, of course, and A Walk in the Park by Bill Bryson, which was um, which was quite a novel choice, but it was, um, it was a really, really good choice as well. So, we, as you can tell just by saying that, that you know, there's been a kind of variety of genres. And really, that's what the book comes all about. Like it's getting in touch with people who, who read different books to you and consequently uh, you know you get introduced into new books with them yourselves and you can uh, take a view on them and hopefully if you like it you can read some more works by the by the office. And the link is on the bottom of your screen there, so that's the link to the Facebook page. Absolutely. Um, now when do you meet? Is it the first we, Wednesday of each month? Absolutely, we meet on the first Wednesday of each month at 7 30, the village wine bar in Farsley, absolutely. It's not, it's not just people that yes. from Farsley that have to come yeah. it's no, no, not at all. It's a very open. In fact, one of the things I, I kind of love about our club is it's very interactive as well because we are kind of heavy on social media. We get people email, emailing reviews, uh, submitting their scores uh, by email. So you don't necessarily have to attend. Uh, you can actually read the book as other people have done and we've sent an email to us as well. So if you put the yeah. book on YouTube, yeah. you'll see yes. not only this now, but you'll also see a special yeah. video that's been oh, you by will. another author, won't you? Absolutely. Uh, my friend Mark Pryor in Austin, Texas, uh, he wrote uh, the first of his Hugo Marston murder mysteries called The Bookseller. Yes. And he very kindly did a nice uh, video cam for us. Not only that, but he's one of your book club members got a very special treat, didn't he? Yes, he did. Um, he uh, basically asked us to carry out a draw, uh, which we did in one of my trophy hats. And uh, whoever came out of the, uh, the draw was going to figure as a character in his next Hugo Master murder mystery. So that's a very exciting uh, outcome. Uh, my friend Angela won that, and so she will consequently uh, be bumped off uh, in hope for not too much uh, additional yeah, but immortalised in history as well. Oh, immortalised, immortalised you forever. Be. You, you, well, yeah. I'm, well, I'm being featured, I've, I've already been featured in one book, I was featured in The Crypt Thief, which was uh, in the acknowledgements page because I did some research on that particular book. But I'm also appearing as a, a Tom would love this, as a, a family lawyer in a book called The Hollow Man, which comes out in September this year, which I'm really looking forward to. Oh. I've no idea what it's going to store for me. Being a lawyer, I fear the worst. <laughs> but, uh, but time will tell. But this is a standalone book, and I, I know he's very proud of this work, and um, I'm looking forward to seeing that one. Um, and Can we do shameless plug whilst we're on? Absolutely. JaneAvril.net. 
JaneAveril.net, very shameless, totally disconnected. No, 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 Hugo Mar Marston Murder Mystery was The Crypt Thief and Mark Pryor got in touch with me uh, on the basis of my website which was www.janeaveril.net and that tells the life of Jane Avril. Uh, it very much is a fan site um, in that respect. It's also an historical document which I'm very proud of. It's, um, it's done me a lot of um, uh, favours in terms of contacts with theatre companies and authors alike and um, Giles Brander, a quick name drop there, um, who've been involved in, in some Hello, of the work I've been doing. Good, yes, good evening, Charles. And um, yeah, it's been very good. It's, it's been it's been good to me. I suppose like the level of information that you've got on there as well. Mm. You know, it, it's kind of just supersedes anything that Wikipedia could ever do. And it, the oh. amount of time that you spent doing it, it's just but, a labour of love. Well, it is because the research I undertook was based on the fact that there was no research out there. Uh, there was nothing there for me to, to really get my head around. So I I spent a lot of time in art art um, libraries and uh, and basically just accumulated all this information about Jane Avril and then kind of asking the question what do I do with it and really I wanted to learn how to build a website so actually the two things came together quite nicely I learned how to build the website and uh, all the information is now in one place people interact with me I interact with them and uh, it's been a great resource for like I say uh, theatre companies and authors alike and I'm quite proud of it. And even though you're not going to do as much work on it now is what you did. It's still there, and you still kind of adding things. I'm still, well, yeah, I, I, I still add things as I go. The, the, the thing about the site for me is, it's um, it's like throwing a big net into a big, uh, you know, into a big wide ocean, and hopefully, I'm going to capture that big fish, which is maybe someone who, who may be related to Jane, or maybe someone who if you is know, a friend so of a friend. Do an appeal now, as if it's like oh. a lost family with Nicky Campbell. Go on. Oh, do, do I do the tears as well? Well, you know, um, go on. Oh, it's a close close up. Up. Well, black and white. You know, if, if, black and white if you know the whereabouts of, of Jane Averill's uh, relatives or, or friend of friends, then please contact me at www.janeaveril.net. There's different ways to contact me via Facebook, via the contact page, via my blog as well. So yeah, please do get in touch. Um, I would really appreciate that. Somebody might just do any. Um, great evening, great evening, and I hope this is the first of many. Farsley Village Book Club every Wednesday, seven thirty. Seven thirty. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. Wine is included, but yeah. No, no, no. Wine is not included. <laughs> Why are you buying? Hey, if, the, if they're new to the club, I will buy. I will buy the first glass. <laughs> yeah. Promise that. Right. Oh, oh, this is going to go viral. <laughs> Craig Winfield, thank, thank you, and I hope your uh, credit card doesn't do too much no, damage after thank that. Thank you, it's a good night from me. And a good night from him. Good night.